Hey folks, uh, thanks for all your support. We've hit a thousand subscribers Yay! just after our hundredth video, so that was, that was stunning. Um, to celebrate that, we're gonna go to one of our favourite necks of the woods. We're gonna go up to Spurn as it's the start of autumn migration and see what's there. So follow us, join us and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Yay. After a few hours of driving, we arrived late and went straight to bed. We woke up to an overcast morning, but soon the sun came out. Good morning, folks. It's, I don't know what time it is. It might be about eight o'clock. You can hear some bacon frying in the background, which is a damn good sign. And we are again at Spurn, or at Killensee currently, but not far from Spurn, just around the corner. We've come on a bit of a chance, so stick with us for the day and see what turns up. There was lots of bird sound around the car park, much of it coming from the enormous flock of house sparrows that were present. Also, skulking in one of the bushes, I spotted this lovely white throat. Whilst Kaylee was finishing getting ready, I had a look out to sea and was lucky enough to see this arctic skewer fly past. Hey folks. Hello. Hello. So we've gone for a little bit of a walk down towards church field because sometimes there's things there and apparently somebody said there may be some ringing going on so it's worth a look just in case um oh a little egret up there flying um anyway um you might notice that kaylee here is pretty wrapped up for such a nice day <laughs> unfortunately she's picked up lyme disease which is horrendous really so that's why we haven't been very active yeah, so she's got to take it easy this weekend, and I mean really easy, so we're, we're going to just be doing some hobbling around to try and find some birdies. Yeah, she's really knocked it for six, so anyway, so loads of sympathy on the comments, please, that'd be great, and uh, let's see what birds we find. Woo! When we got to Churchfield, we couldn't find any people ringing, we did see the nets, but no one was about, so we headed towards Kilnsea Wetlands. Hey folks, we're at Kilnsea Wetlands, coming to have a look, hopefully for some waders. There's some talk of Curly Sandpiper being here, which is good, because that'd be a lifer for Kaylee. Um, anything else is good. Somebody mentioned a molting mandarin duck, so that's, that should be interesting. Also, you can see Kilnsea Sound Mirror behind us, which is a, a wartime um, monument. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. Stick with us, let's see what we find. As it was high tide, there were plenty of waders, an enormous amount of red shank and dunlin. Feeding close to the bank, there were some black-tailed godwits. But then we found the bird that we were looking for, which was a lifer for Kaylee. That was the curlew sandpiper. That is, we think it's a lifer, as we don't recall Kaylee seeing one in the past. Eagle-eyed Kaylee actually spotted it, feeding with some dunlin. After this, we went on the top of the bank with the other birders to see what was around. We'd heard there may be a wood sandpiper, which is a bird that Kaylee's not seen in this country. So we took a look. We'd been told the wood sandpiper had just been there, but it'd flown off, but they expected it maybe to fly back. So we stood around and watched all the swans, gulls, and ring plover that were there. Eventually, the wood sandpiper showed up and it flew in really close, so we got really nice views. After enjoying watching this bird for a while, we were informed on the other side of the bank there was a mandarin duck in eclipse plumage. It was at a bit of a distance, but you can see the bird preening with the white tummy and the red beak is the mandarin. Please excuse how shaky the video is, there was an awful lot of heat haze too, as you'll see later in the video. Hey folks. Uh, that was, uh, I would say, worth it. Uh, we got uh, a life of a Kaylee, a curly sandpiper. Woo! We also got a wood sandpiper, which is the first time Kaylee's had one in the UK, which is tipped up. And we had great views of an Arctic skew which flew over our heads. The footage isn't amazing, but uh, the bird was cool. And uh, We had ring plovers, and we also had a... Uh, molting mandarin duck which is a bit of an unusual thing to see so uh, that was well worth it so we're gonna go and rest Kaylee's leg a bit and find a stick <laughs> so she can carry on and uh, grab a cup of tea 
and then go to the Warren. Maybe do a bit of sea watching. Let's see what happens. We then headed to Spurn Discovery Centre to give Kaylee a well-earned rest. We had a pasty and a cup of tea, which were delicious, and the view wasn't bad either. Once rested, we headed to Canal Scrape Hide. It was reasonably quiet at first, with only the resident little grebe showing well. That is until Kaylee spotted something pretty special. Hey folks, we are here at the Canal Scrape Hide. I'm trying to be reasonably quiet, but we've just been sat watching a water rail preening, which was absolutely stunning. It's a bird you don't see very often, but not out in the open. Even if you do, they usually run across in front of you or something. But this one was just had a bath and then sat preening for a while, which was ace. So that was a nice way to after. That was a nice thing to see after a cup of tea and a pasta. So I've, I about ten minutes. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, so there's loads of swallows flying past at the moment, quite close. Um, but I think now it may be time to wander to the warren. Some sea watch. After the excitement of the water rail, we headed up towards the warren to see what was on the sea. So Kaylee's found a, a good way to rest the leg <laughs> and keep in the shade and still do a bit of sea watching. <laughs> yeah. Even Lyme disease doesn't get her down. <laughs> Although Kaylee was very comfortable in a little sea watching spot. There weren't too many birds. The only thing we spotted was this wheatier, very confidingly sitting on a sign, probably waiting to go and migrate. At this point, we decided on a change of scenery. Where are we going? Hey folks, we're off to, I think it's called Top Hill Nature Reserve. I'll put it up on the screen now, just in case I get it wrong. Um, but it's, it's in East Yorkshire, it's about an hour away from Spurn, which we're going back to later to hopefully try and find some owls. Um, at this nature reserve, there's talk of a few birds, including a uh, blue-winged teal, which we have seen before once. That's an American duck. This one's apparently an eclipse plumage. And someone also mentioned um, a pectoral sandpiper, which again, we've seen before, but it's an American visitor. So well worth a little trip. So join us for that. Let's see what we can find. Upon arriving at Top Hill Low Nature Reserve, I was greeted in the car park by one of our subscribers, which was nice. Hey folks, we're at Top Hill Low Nature Reserve um, in Yorkshire. We've just bumped into some of the people who watch our channel. In fact, two separate people. Um, one couple and one gentleman in the car park. Who, and a gentleman earlier on today. And another gentleman earlier on today, so it appears we're getting famous. Uh, <laughs> no. Which is fun. Uh, Anyway, uh, they were all very, very nice, and we really appreciate Each these people. Yeah, yes. absolutely. It's it's amazing. Uh, great response. Brilliant. Uh, anyway, we're here to find the blue-winged teal, which is uh, might look a bit boring because it's in malt, but we'll have a look anyway. And a pectoral sandpiper, and both are American visitors. There was also a black-necked grebe here, but it's on such a massive piece of water, I couldn't see it. We're so try on the way back, we though. might try on the way back if there's time. Anyway, let's go. Let's go find some birdies. The plan at this nature reserve was to look for two birds, both American. The first being a pectoral sandpiper and the second being a blue winged teal. Both of these birds we've seen in the past, but are always great to see. Whilst sitting in a hide looking at what we thought was the blue winged teal, one of the staff who we talked to before came to get us to show us the pectoral sandpiper. We went to the hide and it was really close in feeding with some other wading birds in front of us. These birds come all the way from the States, but do turn up reasonably regularly in the country. This is the third one I've seen and the second one Kaylee's seen. But these are definitely the best views I've had. Also feeding in front of us were some green sandpipers, which we don't see too often. This made this slight detour well worth it. And it was lovely meeting some of our subscribers. Hello, um, success of a sort, um, we found the pectoral sandpiper which was shown really well and also some green sandpiper shown really nicely as well which is a plus. Um, blue winged tail was really flighty but before we turned up apparently and then it landed to have sleep. 
Um, so it just looks like a mollard. <laughs> yeah, a bird has showed us it. I've taken a video. I'm not absolutely 100% convinced that's it. I'm going to check when I get home. I'll put the video up anyway, and uh, you can check it out. So we're heading back to Spurn now. See if we can get back before it goes dark. Uh, have a pint and some food. And have a look. And see if we can find some owls. That'd be nice. That's Stick good. with us. We then decided to head back towards Spurn before it went dark to try and get views of some owls. We'd heard previously in the day that we may get views of little or short-eared owls. Hey folks, it's almost dark. Um, we've come owl searching. We've just seen what we think is a short-eared owl. Um, didn't get any footage unfortunately because I was driving. It was really quick, and it was uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty brief, but um, a gentleman said he'd seen one literally seconds before we saw it, it so be it. it had to be that short eared so that's kind of nice and it, was a, it was definitely an owl and it was darker yeah so it wasn't a barn it's not so a barn owl which we have seen her before so looks like a short eared owl which is a nice uh, nice way to end the day i'm just gonna have another kind of maybe 15 20 minutes before it goes pitch black doing some more owl searching and then i think we're gonna call it for the night and resume again tomorrow Great day. It's been a great day. See you soon. See you in the morning. By this time, it was pitch black, so we thought we'd celebrate our successful day with a pint before bed. When we woke up in the morning, it was again overcast, but the sun was starting to come through. Good morning, folks. It's about quarter past eight. We're on the beach here at Kilnsey. We stayed overnight in the car park. We're going to head to Kilnsey Wetlands shortly to uh, check out what waders are here at high tide and then head, um, well, we're going to see what turns up. Um, we're around until kind of lunchtime-ish and then we're going to head home so fingers crossed something might show. Stick with us, it could be fun. Once we'd had breakfast we headed to Kilnsey Wetlands again. Yo, we've just had our breakfast um, and we're going to head now to Kilnsey Wetlands. We're here at Kilnsey Wetlands and Kaylee's there, just there, looking at a little owl. It's just there. It's over there at the other side of this field in a tree. It's, that has made my cold. Yeah, she's super <laughs> happy and that's also a lifer for Kaylee. Whee! Let's move on soon. After witnessing this amazing little owl, we went to the hides to have a look what was about, being greeted by these common gull. There were some larger waders about, like this little egret, and this lovely preening spoonbill. Later on, we bumped into our friend from the previous day, the curlew sandpiper. These birds don't breed in the UK, they breed in eastern Siberia, and then winter in Africa, Asia and Australia, so only generally show up in this country on migration. At a distance they can quite easily be mistaken for Dunlin, but here's a video showing the two birds together, illustrating that the curlew sandpiper is a little taller with a longer bill and slightly different coloration. As we walked up onto the bank again, a great white egret flew in and landed, standing out like a sore thumb with its imposing size. Before long, all the gulls and waders took to the skies. It turns out they were spooked by this marsh harrier flying by. As the gulls were starting to land, I noticed this lovely Mediterranean gull. These birds are slowly becoming more regular in the country, especially in the south. Hey folks, we're gonna go and get a cup of tea and head to the canal scrape. See if there's anything there. Before we went to the canal scrape, we had a little walk along the bank above it, seeing enormous groups of wading birds. We bumped into a couple that were looking at a short eared owl that was sat in the grass. Please excuse the video being shaky. It was at quite a distance and there was a lot of heat haze, but it was looking around for quite a while, showing its incredible yellow eyes. After a while, it jumped into the grass and out of sight but another really cool bird to see. When we arrived at the canal scrape, there weren't many birds around. 
The only immediate things we saw were more hens feeding in between all the reeds. Also our friend the little grebe which seems to be there all the time was fishing and this time caught some kind of crustacean or bug and ate it. After having the hide to ourselves for a while we were joined by the couple who would pointed out the short-haired owl to us. After seeing movement in some of the trees at a distance he picked out a couple of birds the first being a lesser white throat which is a really cool bird. We don't see many of these as the common white throat is more common. A little bit further on there was a pied flycatcher that was flitting and feeding in amongst the trees and before we left a couple of goldfinch, one adult and one youngster. We then left Spurn. Where are we going? Ah, yes. We're going now, after quite a successful morning, um, we're heading to North Cave wetlands where apparently there's a young redneck phalarope and possibly some spotted red shank. So they're worth seeing on the way home, I would say. So follow us there, see so what we find. When we arrived at North Cave Wetlands, it was pretty busy and we had some attention straight away <laughs> with three mollards approaching us, expecting food. Unfortunately, we didn't have any. That's until Kaylee found a sandwich and burger van. Whilst I went to catch her up, I noticed this robin looking after the disabled parking spot. Hey folks, Kaylee's got a treat. <laughs> we've, ju we've just arrived at North Cave Wetlands to find a really exceedingly good kind of breakfast bath and burger van. And we've just had a, just got ourselves a cheeseburger and it's delicious. I've scoffed mine. Uh, let's go to the next one. I think that's where the phallic we can go this one on the way back. Okay. We're just trying to find uh, where the redneck phallic ape is. It? Look, it's a bit further down this path, so keep with us. Let's see if we can find it. After our tasty burger, we arrived at the turret hide where the redneck phallic ape had been seen. Looking out above a small piece of water, I noticed a few birds. The first being this teal that was dabbling in the shallows directly in front of us. And across, there was a grey heron wandering about and feeding in the far shallows. It didn't take us long to find the red-necked phalarope. It was busy, like phalaropes generally are, spinning around and feeding quite near in, occasionally hopping out of the water to get a morsel of food and then hopping back in. These cute birds nest in the highlands of Scotland and aren't often seen in other parts of the country until later into migration so it was lovely to see this juvenile. Other birds around included a lovely common sandpiper which gave us quite a few sandpipers this weekend and a wood pigeon having a bit of a bath in the shallow water. Across on from the other side of the hide we saw quite a few lapwing and a lot of geese most of them being grey like geese. It was almost time to go home, so we said goodbye to our friend the phalarope. Hopefully we'll see more of these later on in migration, and we headed back towards the van. Well, that was some weekend. Um, we've seen an awful lot of birds, some lifers, we think, some <laughs> definitely lifers. Uh, some birds were not seen in the U or Kaylee hadn't seen in the UK. Amazing. Um, owls, all sorts of stuff, Real, loads of waders. The whole thing was really cool. Uh, great to be back at Spurn. It seems like ages since great we've been there. Great to see there. everybody. Great to see yeah, <laughs> all of our uh, all of our subscribers that uh, we met up there. That was, that was really cool. Um, feel free to comment if you saw us on the video. Uh, we'll give you a shout on another video, maybe. That'll be really cool. Anyway, uh, until next time, please like. Please subscribe and please press the notification bell. See you, See you next soon. Time.